coach another good win. Um, we had 21 steals today, 22 the other day. Uh, that's kind of probably a point of emphasis after that Virginia Tech game. Go a little more aggressive on defense. Huh? It was, you know, we just we were able to. We watched film the other day, coming back um, from the break, and kind of got to see ourselves and how um, lackadaisical we were on defense and not and not as active. And I think just them getting kind of getting to watch that and see that and not realizing we were doing it as bad as we were. So, you know, I think you got to attribute that to a lot of things. We went 14 days without a game before the Virginia Tech game, Christmas break. So, you know, we got to do a better job handling that situation and maturity level with five seniors. So I think they've done a great job refocusing and coming back in with a real purpose on defense right now. Sure. And Chelsea Douglas, obviously it struggled the last couple games and uh, finally good to see her kind of break out of that slump today and have a good game. Yeah, you know, I think we, we really try to get Chelsea to focus in on our defensive side of things and what she can do for us defensively and then that their offense will kind of come to her. And I think she, you know, just being able to relax a little bit and kind of get her mind and her focus off of the offensive side of things because I think she starts to push when she's not hitting her shots. And, you know, when anytime we can get, get that many steals and kind of get out transition to get some easy ones it always helps yeah and one of those that uh one of the players that had a lot of the steals and thought gave you some good minutes with kayla walker she didn't fill up the statue right. but i think she had a career high five steals and seemed like she was always right there she was you know Michaela makes these big plays she just you know she's one of our best uh post players as far as her ability to get out on the perimeter and really defend and, and really be active and get deflections and, and she's so physical a lot of times that that, that kind of takes her out of games a lot because officials tend to call more fouls on her but um you know hopefully she's kind of starting to get a feel for what she's going to be allowed to do and what she's not and obviously as we get into the ACC it gets much more physical and and she's get, she, she'll be a big spark for us I hope to continue off the bench now obviously was this what you were looking for coming out of Virginia Tech, you know, we have state coming up in these two games, non-conference games in the in between, you know, ACC teams there. Is this kind of what you were looking for heading into NC State? You know, I definitely think we needed these two games. You know, coming back after Christmas is always tough on the kids and, you know, they want to be home and they want to be on break and so you come back and you're able to play a couple games instead of just practicing I think always helps and it's good for us. So, you know, a lot of the stuff we practice every day and practice against each other, we get to do it against another team and, you know, both of these teams are very well coached. Campbell and Nevada both, um, and, you know, two legendary coaches in their own right have been doing this thing for a long time and I've known both of them for a long time. I knew they're going to be well coached. They're going to be well prepared. So it's always a good game for us to be able to come on against teams that we know are going to do that. And fundamentally, you're going to hurt you if you make mistakes. And so I really thought we were able to learn from the Virginia Tech um, uh, loss and, and take this and build some momentum going into now what becomes night in and night out a dogfight. Yep. All right. Thanks, Coach. Happy right. New Year. Thanks. Happy New Year. Go Deeks.